tech, like everyone was talking about attack canceling. Now it's like, you know, it's known, but it's not revolutionary. But it is a great mix-up to add to your, you know, your tools. I'm just glad it, it means I don't have to work as hard anymore. So that's good. <laughs> okay. All right, so button check, it looks like. Yep. Inkling versus Falco. And I think both of these characters are up throw oriented characters. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. Um, probably more so for Inkling because she just has like actual confirmed. But that's not to say that Falco doesn't have confirmed because his jump is so high. Like you could, you could pretty much reach any old uh, altitude that he wants. Yeah, he does have you know those bird wings. He can't fly, but he certainly can jump high. Yeah, it's a shame he can't run fast. The the only one that can out of the spaces is Fox. Makes me wonder why Wolf can't run fast, but I'm glad that he can't. Oh my god, I'm glad that he can't. Yeah, imagine if, like, just run up down smash. Oh, <laughs> that'd be scary. I mean, they still do. They still try anyway. They yeah, got the but range. Yeah, if you had like, one. you know, higher run speed, blink and you're dead at 50%. Mm. After the nerfs. After. So that tells you a lot. Okay, here we go. All right. It's. I always found it weird how it takes a while to load the costumes. Like, I feel like, I guess there's just so many characters, so many costumes, it takes the system a bit to process. I like, think it takes longer to process the costumes than to start an actual net. It's yeah, kind of awesome. definitely. <laughs> All right, so we saw already at 34%, the jab that gets stronger within itself. I love it. Yeah, already inking up this Falco and fishing for, you know, a forward air, back air, any old move that'll hit, I'm sure they'll accept it at this point. All right. Oh, I oh I like that. That was a really good confirm and from that up air into the forward air, sending him right off stage. Yeah, Falco's forward air is insanity. Like some it, some characters only takes one hit with that forward air to gimp them completely and they die. Yeah. Okay, Sedge landing that dash attack. Woo! Great down smash, killing it pretty early. Percent, and I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Nexus was pretty surprised about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, now we're at a completely even game once again. Okay, getting that nair. All right, another jab. You know, that's just so much free ink. And the forward throw, that's even more ink. Yeah, it's great. I it's Seriously, like, Ooh, say what you want about down. it. I love the drag down on that forward air. Getting 52% off of that combo string was so very slick coming out from Nexus. Yeah, Falco's a master at that. Okay, okay, didn't get shielded. He was able to get himself back into the neutral here. Oh, taking that back air was the worst thing for uh, for Nexus there. He almost had uh, a really good stage position. I, I swear that Inkling just sort of dashed through Falco's laser and it didn't hit him. I believe that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that dash is able to low profile certain things. It's a crazy, crazy dash. Okay, where's the edge guard? There's oh, the edge guard. Great okay. Patient. And this should be a free down smash. No! Mm, he fired. I'm, I'm surprised he was able to magnet from, magnet from that position, but he will take that all the way, sealing out that second stock with a forward smash. I love that anti air I just saw. That up tilt just does so much work in so many different situations. Okay. Wow, Sedge is in trouble. Oh, oh, not anymore. Not anymore. And you know, 84% down, it's. Definitely not the situation you want to be in, but with a character like Inkling, it's not the end of the world. Oh, know? absolutely like, not. That jab could be the start, and now if he gets like an up throw into up air, nair, fair, that kind of thing, then he'll be able to bring it back, and before you know it, he'll be in roller percent. Mm -hmm. I think um, the problem I see with Nexus is his ability to ledge trap. It seems like he's, uh, it seems like Sedge is doing a better job of that than uh, Nexus is. Wow, he didn't even go for a throw there. It seemed like he just sort of blanked on what he wanted to do, and Nexus was able to break out free out of that crab as a result. And no laser camping either. I would imagine that that Ooh. would be very helpful. Okay, okay. Great patience. Inkling can't really edge guard with down there. The hitbox on that thing is really tiny. Yeah, and the end lag is forever. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Throwing out the back, rear, back air out of nowhere. Nexus will sweep away that game one. Yeah, maybe you heard what I said about edge guarding and didn't like that too much. Took <laughs> care of that. All right, that was exactly three minutes. Impressive. All right, moving to game two. Yeah, Sedge taking a moment to consider his counter pick. 
looking like Smashville will be the option of choice, and I do, I do agree with that because that center platform, I feel like it gives Inkling advantage here. And uh, if uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it does have a smaller ceiling, no? Oh yes, yes, I, I believe it does. In so up throw. Imagine if he gets an up throw on the platform, just dead Toon Link for sure. And there's that oh, Toon yeah, Link. Oh yeah, Link. You did say he played this character, and now we're gonna see it come out. Toon Link is actually quite good. His ability to camp and his run speed uh, on top of that, it makes him a very good zoning uh, character that a lot of people kind of uh, sleep on. Yeah, definitely. I think, I think Young Link and, you know, Breath of the Wild Link are the two Links people think about. But I think Toon Link still has his bomb confirms. He still has pretty good aerials. It's not like he's an awful character. Absolutely. He's, I think he's rather decent. Look at this, okay. Um, oh, all right, he sort of jabbed his way out, but then got jabbed again. Okay, that was charming. Hey! Ooh, the reverse of that up special. I think you see that with every link. They Sometimes if they want the cheeky early kill, they will reverse that up special, hoping their opponent will get caught in it. I like how Ooh. Nexus is uh, saving his back throw because he knows it's not the right time to do it. Maybe now, though. Okay, or up smash. Hey, take care of that. And that's another thing with uh, Toon Link, it's, uh, it almost uh, it encourages you to zone because he basically has a toothpick going on over there. Yeah, it's like even his smash attacks, they don't really kill that early. Like that first smash attack, oh. it was, ooh, three bears trying to <laughs> get another up special. Yeah, back and forth, that bear used to be a kill move and now it's a combo move and I like that, I like that. Okay, pull out the bomb, no bomb, okay. I mean, uh, Toon Link's bomb does take a lot longer to explode than other uh, characters, for sure. Or other Links, I should say. Nice. Ooh, footstool bomb. I like that idea. Oh, whiffing that back air allows Sedge to get back into the position he wants to be in. But it's very hard to edge guard when he has a bomb thrown at him. Okay, there we go. There we go. Was that a uh, forward air? Yep. Okay. Running forward air. That has quite the kick to it. Oh, my God. Yeah, forward air shocked me when I got hit by it at first. Like, wow, that killed me so early. All right, okay. up throw, won't connect the up air. All right, if Session is what he's doing, he's going to he's going to try to up throw him again and wait for Toon Link's option. No punish on that missed whirlwind spin either. Hopefully that doesn't get into Sedge's head too much. I uh, don't know, maybe. Okay, no, he seems like he's pretty composed now. Okay. Uh, Another up smash. Mm. I thought we saw a failed uh, cross up attempt, but no. Getting hit by your own bomb, you, you <laughs> it's not fun to hurt yourself like that. Sometimes you want to do it, especially if you're Snake, but uh, yeah, in that position, no, it was not good for Nexus at all. Okay, has another bomb. Okay, Z drops it. Okay, keeping his distance, he sort of retreated to the ledge there. He, I think that gave too much respect for Sage. He could have easily taken advantage of that opportunity. <gasps> that was almost Whoa. really schmexy. Not quite, though. Okay, B oh. reversing. Wait! Mash! Okay. Yeah, the, that was like the weirdest positioning for that roller drowning. I'm starting to wonder if uh, Sedge is uh, picking up on the way that Nexus is recovering. Always using that Zare, never once using his own Nair to try to stop him. Okay, ladder right. time? No. Okay. Oh, that forward tilt that hit from behind. Yep, it's a true story. And that whirlwind spin from Toon Link, you know, it's got quite a punch to it. Mm. You can even hit people from underneath the ledge with that up, uh, up B. It's really? pretty disgusting. Oh, yeah. That is uh, that is a little interesting. Oh, yeah. I, I hope sure, to see it. Not sure if I agree with that, but... It's happened to my face on several occasions. I would like to disagree with it, but I, I can't. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Up tilt. Up air. Great confirms coming out from Nexus. Oh, almost got that up smash, but not quite. Another forward air. And... Once again, it's this last dock situation where Sedge is still pretty far behind, and he's going to have to put in a lot more work mm. if he wants to potentially bring this game free. Instead, he just uh, yep. dies to whirlwind spin. Mm, okay. The, the up <laughs> of death that killed you. Yep. I, I, I don't think he DI'd that, correct? 